another video. And this is another useless video. Just a useless video, fellas. Let's talk about direct customers, direct clients. How do you price a direct client? Do you price them cheap? Do you price them efficient? Do you price them high? Look, what do you do? Well, I want you to think about this as far as direct clients. Whatever you tell them is what you do. So, if you run a 50 cent a mile loop for a direct, guess what you're doing from now on? 50 cents a mile. Do you want to run them every day, all day? Directs are not good to have just to have a direct customer. Directs should pay. They should pay more. Because when the market fluctuates, the direct doesn't fluctuate. So when the market's high, you lose. When the market's low, they lose. Now, you got to be contracted. It's called contractual freight. You don't just 60 cents a mile, just talk, 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 talk. Because they're, they're not going to honor that. Because there's nothing saying, I'm going to use you for X amount of time. All that means is, I'm going to use you till it no longer benefits me. I eat customer. So, if the customer is one of those flaky, cheap, all well, or cheap transporters, or not transporters, but you know what I'm trying to say. Is that what you want to work with? Do you want to build your relationship around... Hold on, guys. your relationship around something of that nature. Your business. You can't make a healthy living off 50 cent a mile cars. You may be able to run one or two here and there, you know, just for fillings, but you can't run loads for 50 cent a mile. You have a value. You have a price. You have a cost. You are no different than these vehicles we buy. You're no different than the food we buy. You're no different than anything that has a cost. You too sell yourself for money. There's a word for those, but we're not going to use those. But that's what we are. Some are cheaper than others. Y'all catch me. You little cheapy. So, you are a product that provides a service. My phone is a product that provides a service. Well, what service? The more services this phone provides, the more expensive it is. A smartphone is more expensive than a flip phone. Why is that? Service. It does more got more abilities. It's more flexible. So you, my friend, are a more flexible transporter than a broker. You're going to stop. You're going to jump for this direct customer. You're going to go get what he needs, when he needs, right now, within reason. That's what you're going to do. And you're going to get paid for that. But now, if you think the load board is the market, you're sadly mistaken. I want you to think about this. How can a middleman be the market? You think the broker's not making no money? Y'all know better because people cry about them every day making money. So where is the real market value? 
Where is your cost? Where is your value? What are you worth? And who decides that? Not you. Not me. The customer. And they decide that based on what they hear, what they see, and how much they like you. It's truly that simple. You have a favorite mechanic. You have a favorite barber. You have a favorite booth. We all have a favorite everything. We're creatures of habit. We use the same things multiples of times, but why? Why do we do that? What does it do for you? Do they get you in for a fast and quick haircut? Does the truck keep you rolling and not leave you stranded? Is that why it's your favorite truck? The pizza just makes you melt. You love the pizza. So, customers are humans. They're no different. So, when you're talking to a customer, the last thing you tell them is the price. You need justification for what you're about to say. You don't want to say, he says, how much is it from A to B? And you say 1200, he's going to say, what? Or you're going to say, well, I can pick it up this day and this day, and I can do this with it. You'll be first on my pickup, or first on my drop, or last on my pickup, first on my drop. So you have time to get it all together, and I'll make sure whoever it is gets it first. I haul four or five cars, and I can pay more attention, and I'm faster and more responsible with your vehicle than a 10 car. Right? I haul these small cars, all the, these low cars all the time. I've been hauling cars for four years. So I can get your car, I can get this move done in this amount of time for 1200 bucks. Which one do you want to hear? 1200 Ah, it's too much. I have a good day. Well, my service is blah, 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 blah. 1200 Okay. You got to know what they're getting for the 1200 So, what is your selling tactic to a direct customer? What are you going to sell them? What are you providing them for your money? Nobody gives away free money. Nobody. Unless you're Oprah. Or Ellen DeGeneres. Yes. Uh, they're not giving you money without getting something in return. And the more they get, the more they give. So, it's truly not about hauling cars, is it? No. It's not about a direct customer. It's about selling a service. And I've said this since day one. Sell your service. Sell yourself. And you know what everybody says? They don't care about that. They just want the cheapest rate. Why do you think that? Oh, because I've never seen it. Well, probably because you never tried. Never tried. Go to a hotel. Versus a motel. Which one costs more? Holiday Inn or the Best Western. Got your wife and kids with you. Where are you going to go? Oh, I'm going to go to the Rubber Sheet Hotel down there with the, uh, down there in the, in the hood. We got three channels and they rent it by the hour. That's where I'm going. You know why? Because it's cheap and I'm going to take my kids. No, you're going to the Holiday Inn. Why? Because it's comfortable, it's relaxing, it's safe, and it's luxurious. There's more benefit. There's more sale. There's more meat on the taters. No, there's more meat with the taters. So, guys, 
if you're going to chase direct customers, let them chase your service. Sell them a service. Don't sell them a transport. That thing says Trump, Pence, and Biden in the same yard. Somebody confused. But that doesn't surprise me with what's going on in the world today. But anyway, we're going to talk about politics. I just thought that was funny. Um, so, you've got to think like a customer. If you were selling you, what would you want to hear? Now, I used to sell cars, right? Do you think I just walked up and said, Ah, there's a new Silverado. Boom, there it is. There's lingo. There's sales. And, you know, like in a car, if I see you, your wife, and your kids, I'm going to sell you on how your wife and your kids are safer in this car. Little do you know, every car has the same safety feature. It's a sales tactic. It's not lying. They all have it. I didn't say one doesn't have it. It's the same thing. But now, brokers want to work with me more and cust dealers will work with me more now. Well, what's the difference? I sell service of a bigger trailer. I haul more cars. I haul them big animals. The big animals. It's what we haul. It's what we do. Dude, my, my money doesn't start with, hey, I see you got this, this, and this transport. Is it available? Yep. Pick it up tomorrow. Can you go know 500? Yeah, 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 I'll take less than you got it on the low board for. Happens all the time. So, guys, that's just my little spiel on direct clients, on customers, and getting customers, and keeping customers. If you're not going to get a quality direct customer, they're not worth having. Because you have to jump. A direct client is like a almost like a nine to five job. You gotta be there when they tell you they need you to clock in. If you have a direct client and you need the key, you wanna keep him, you gotta be there when he tells you he's gotta move. I don't care if it's two o'clock in the morning. I get up and roll. You better be getting paid for that. And they don't wanna hear, oh, this one's 350, next one's 450. Give them a rate per mile on your service. Uh, it trucks two dollars a mile, and this is why. It's real simple. So, all right, guys. Hope you understood that. Hope it helped you. Hope it made some of y'all some money, and saved some of y'all some of y'all some headache. But until then, we gotta get on down this old highway and get this car driving. So I will see you. Tomorrow, we'll make sure you like, share, subscribe, and you hit that ding ding. Peace.